Hello there, I'm just back from Abu Dhabi where I've been on a trip to find out all about the brand new Titleist Pro V1 and Pro V1 X models for 2017. Here in the uh, pre-sales packaging, all white, uh, new packaging, all ready to hit the shelves uh, today. Now the ball has been going for a long, long time. It's one of Golf's most enduring franchises, dating all the way back to 2000 when it first launched in October that year and promptly won its first event. For 2017, there are some significant changes to the Pro V1 model in particular. Uh, a new core compound which uh, makes it lower spinning, particularly off the longer clubs, but throughout the bag in fact. One of the other major enhancements for 2017 has been to the aerodynamics of the ball, and that's been done through a refined manufacturing process that uh, now makes the balls much more consistent from dimple to dimple and also from ball to ball. To see if we could detect those new performance differences, we underwent a lot of testing out in Abu Dhabi. Um, first, at various stations that Titleist had set up, looking at all the different areas of the golf course where you need your golf ball to perform. And Titleist's thing for this year is you start from green to tee, so the, the performance starts around the green. You look and see if the ball gives you the performance you want on those chip shots and pitch shots, which if you're anything like me, are absolutely fundamental to saving your score. You need the ball to perform the way you want it to perform and feel the way you want it to feel. We then moved on to a, a driver testing station. Uh, we then tried some iron shots, quite a tough shot into a, a green about 180 yards away, but playing straight into a wind um, that was probably at least, at least a club, maybe two clubs. So you're hitting quite a long club in there and trying to gauge the flight of the two different models. One of the other elements of the trip out to Abu Dhabi was to listen to Stephen Gallagher talking through the process of how he's ended up being a Pro V1X player for 2017. But uh, rather than me talk you through that, let's just hear from the man himself as to how he came to that decision. My contract was up and I had a blank canvas basically. So I, I, I tested a few balls and the tightest one came out the best basically and the process what I went through was I thought to myself I'm going to because I've got a blank canvas here I'm going to I'm going to get the best ball that suits my profile the most start with the ball because that's basically the most important part with golf um, you know your irons is all about hitting numbers but the ball is all about feel and how, it, how you see it visually and and basically I had one of, I had Liam um, one of the Titleist's uh, fitters come up to Scotland and what I wanted with my coach and what I wanted ball flight and what I wanted feel was I needed more spin basically in my game and the key to more spin is to get more spin but don't lose distance and through an elimination process the, the new the 17 the, the Pro V1X the 17 edition just suited my game perfectly when I, when I got the track man out I was in all the numbers that I wanted to be in and the feel was exact the feel was how I wanted it it, it was spinning perfectly and I didn't lose any distance. And I actually got to experience that uh, a similar, probably not quite as in-depth, ball fitting process myself. Again, starting on those short shots, a little 50 yard chip or pitch, and we, we looked at uh, the figures I came up with on the Pro V1, and then discussed what the Pro V1X might do over and above that, which we then tried out on the golf course later on. And in the same way, looking at the, the irons, uh, and also the driver, um, the figures were about right, we were hitting into the wind and the total distance into the wind was 235 odd yards with one of the drives I hit. Um, but the fitter then explained that with the Pro V1X I might get a slightly higher flight so the ball will be coming in a little bit steeper. So it might carry further um, and then perhaps not run as far when it hits the deck. So we then went out onto the uh, fantastic little floodlit night course at um, Abu Dhabi Golf Club, it's called the Garden Course, full length golf course, uh, and that was really good fun and the, um, the floodlights really highlighted the ball's flight so you could see exactly what was going on which was possibly slightly easier than hitting balls during the day. Um, the following day we then went to another golf course in Abu Dhabi uh, and we again tried out both balls on the golf course to see which produced the kind of performance we were wanting uh, in all aspects of our game, again focusing on some of the around the green stuff, how did the ball feel off the putter, but then also observing the flight and seeing how the flight compared to perhaps the ball we've been playing or the previous models. Uh, but it was still a very difficult process for me, I wouldn't describe myself as the finest ball striker in the world, um, so you know, you've got to be reasonably consistent. So I went up to my home golf club, Holtai Golf Club, to do a little more testing uh, again 
starting off around the green. The green was a little bit firm because the frost hadn't fully come out, but there were enough patches where you could see the ball responding how you'd want it to perform. And again, I hit both balls side by side, did a bit of comparison, see which one felt the best, which one seemed to react the best when it landed on the green for that way I like to play my chip shots and my pitches. And then I went out onto the golf course uh, and the first hole at Holt High is a 270 yarder um, off a slightly forward tee in the winter months. Um, and again, I hit some drives down there. Now the firmness of the ground meant that they actually went a little bit further than normal, so I wouldn't read too much into that. But uh, I really like the flight I got with the Pro V1X model, and I've never been, in my mind at least, a Pro V1X player before. But uh, I then hit some balls into the second hole at Holt High, which was playing about 150 yards. And again, I just felt the Pro V1X gave me more of the flight I was looking for. Well, the final thing I did before coming to my uh, decision was to play some greenside bunker shots on the second hole at Holtai. Um, now the green was a little bit firm in places still, um, and you can see on this first shot here that the ball bounces quite high on landing, but then really checks up on the second bounce, which uh, caught me a little bit by surprise. Um, the second one I played a little bit lower, and that got exactly the kind of reaction I really want on a bunker shot. That's slightly downhill, that bunker shot there and it, uh, it lands reasonably soft and then checks up just a fraction on the second bounce before releasing on down to the hole. That's how I like my bunker shots to, to play mostly. So on that basis, I would say I was almost certainly going to be a Pro V1X player this year, like many of Titleist Tour pros who have found that a ball they thought was always the right one for them maybe isn't now with the ball fitting process. Uh, and as a result of all my testing and uh, experimenting with the balls, um, having been a Pro V1 player uh, pretty much throughout the history of the ball, it would seem fairly conclusive that I should really be switching to the Pro V1X for 2017.